Good evening, I'm Jamison Newell. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thank you for joining us. That news from Pfizer comes just a day after the first cases of the Omicron variant were identified here in Florida and one of them right here in Tampa. As expected, that variant is spreading now in at least 21 states. ABC Action News reporter J.J. Burton spent the day talking to medical experts who say there is one key reason you do not need to panic. New COVID-19 cases are up 19% across the country. Some of those cases are that of the new Omicron variant. As of today, at least 20 states have reported the variant. Florida became the 20th Tuesday, the first case right here in Tampa Bay. We're going to probably see quite a few infections that are going to be appearing over the next six weeks or so. USF health professor Dr. Thomas Unash has been following the pandemic since the beginning. He says the Omicron variant appears to be more transmissible than the other variants, but less severe. The initial results suggest that it's quite encouraging that this isn't really making people nearly as sick as the other uh, variants that we've seen previously. The medical doctors I spoke to today agree. However, they say it's important to remember scientists are still researching this variant and people with compromised immune systems are still high risk. Yeah, that's correct. And this is Dr. Laura Arline. She's the chief quality officer for BayCare. What we don't want to do is to make the assumption that it's going to be just a sneeze or two for everybody. Um, it's much safer to get the vaccine and protect yourself than to take the chance that for you, it's going to be a sneeze, but for someone else that may take them down. Dr. Arline says there's no need to panic because we already have vaccines, unlike when the pandemic started. We've got about 60% of our population that are vaccinated, <clears throat> and then the boosters are going to be really, really important too. On Wednesday morning, Pfizer released a report saying research shows that getting the two vaccine doses and the booster shot will neutralize the Omicron variant. And USF professor of medicine, Dr. Michael Tang, says he believes studies will show that Moderna's booster will also work as well, since their vaccine is similar to Pfizer's. The takeaway message is that if you get boosted um, after a primary series, um, you should have pretty good immunity against Omicron. Health experts are also reminding folks to continue wearing masks, washing hands, and practicing social distance. All of those things still work, and I do recommend... J.J. Burton, ABC, Action News.